Scene 15, V, take one. And action. Yeah, I love the band. Um, what are we doing today? We're filming! We're filming, we're filming. We're filming our fourth oh, <laughs> movie. <laughs> the wheels. So we call it. Can you summarize the current film? Um, I'll say first how it started. Um, I was in algebra class with one of our actors, Tim, and I said to him, you would be a terrible children's entertainer. So then a few days later, Keith and I wrote a movie of, in which Tim plays a children's entertainer. It's called The Wheels, colon, Flat Tire, and it's about a children's musician group. And it's about like their crazy adventures through the um, like creation of their band and breakup of their band. What is your role in making the film? I am the resident composer of Maquillage Films. I am the producer, so I work to make sure that we keep on schedule because it's a group of friends working on the movie and we don't normally stay on schedule. I just kind of hop around wherever I can and I draw a lot of stuff and do a lot of not a lot of stuff. I am a costume designer for Maquillage Films. Alright, so we have several actors that are in most of our movies. One of them being my co-writer, Keith. Well, I helped write it. I am acting in it. And I am tweeting pictures of it from behind the scenes. Um, he is an actor and <laughs> he always plays a very absurd character. I play second wheel who's, you know, I mean, look at me. Allie Butts, I just like saying her name. She's in our movies and we threw cake in her face. It was really fun. Um, I play Mina Petal, the boy, the girlfriend of Fourth Wheel slash Stalker slash President of the Wheels fan club. I play Rick, who's their like producer. Tess um, is in our movies as well. I play First Wheel, <laughs> lead singer of the Wheels. <laughs> Tim Roderick is great because I can call him at 11.30 at night, the day before we're filming at 7 in the morning, and say, be at my house at 7 in the morning, and he'll be there. I'm fourth wheel. I'm the keyboardist and drug addict. <laughs> Sophie Snigaki acts in her movies as well. Um, yeah, she always plays like the normal, nice character that we do horrible things to. And he said, like, Devin is making films. When Devin called me up, she was like, hey, want to help me do this? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. It's all Devin that, like, it's starts all it and yeah, gets it together. Devin does so much. This is, yeah, this is like, yeah, what Devin, Devin wants to do. Like, Devin wants to make movies, and she's incredible at it. Yeah. And that's Absolutely. why she we like, just show up and he starts, food. like, she does all the work. Yeah. When I was, I think, 10 years old, my parents got me, like, a nice-ish camcorder, and I just started making movies every single day. And that's when I got into it. Like, we did, like, Sweet Basement in seventh grade, but, like, we never... We were doing that because we thought it was, like, a fun little thing. But this is more, like... This is hey, real. Hey, this is, like, a thing I really enjoyed doing, like... 40-hour film project. It's all over the world. It's in a million different... Not a million. It's <laughs> in a lot of different cities, and it travels. And we participate in it. It's basically when... 80 or so teams from Boston get together and they pick genres for movies out of a hat and they have to make a short <laughs> film from four to seven minutes long with that genre in just two days and have it turned in on time. I guess it started with uh, Better Than I Thought, which was the first 48 hour film fest movie that we did. Like the first time we all came together and like um, some of them thought of like the name. We know that we love making funny-ish things, but we try to be funny. She this is so fun moves. for us and it's so fun for her too, but it's also like, this is like practice for her. And oh, this yeah. is like her, her like, launching her career. Filmmaking is like the only thing I've ever thought about doing professionally. Like I can't even imagine myself doing anything else. I don't want to be like famous or anything, I just kind of want to like, education, like teach people about music. I wouldn't deny the opportunity to write something for a movie and I wouldn't deny the opportunity to act in one, but it's not necessarily my only goal. What equipment have you used? Um, we use all of Devin's stuff that she's been gaining over the years. I film with the Canon T3i. I use Premiere Pro. But yeah, most of it is Devin's stuff that we she's gotten for like Christmas or birthdays and then we're like, yes, new equipment, we'll use this for the newest movie. How much do you know about professional filmmaking? I, I don't know how much I know about professional filmmaking. I just know I'm not doing it. 
I've had people teach me, like we had, we have a friend who um, is like a cameraman for a living, so he taught me a lot about that, and he does 48 hour film, and that's how I learned about cameras, but the editing, a lot of it was self-taught, and just figuring it out by messing up. I don't know much about filmmaking at all. I Everything I've learned about how to um, properly make a film and how to edit things certain ways came from Devin. I still haven't really figured out my own style completely. How much do you guys think that you've improved your film? <gasps> oh, so much! Our first, first movie! movie. Was it's, it's better than I thought it would be. I guess as we made more films we got a lot more experience and we knew how to do the things more correctly, so the movies came out a lot better. I mean, when we started, we were writing things based on like, oh, this could be funny, but it could be really offensive, and maybe not at all for all demographics, and stuff kind of like that, and I think it's hugely improved. Our ideas have gotten better, and the way we're writing them have gotten better, and yeah. They're a lot more sarcastic now than they used to be. I think that it's become like more easy to identify what Devin and Sam and Keith want the music to sound like and like making something more uniform and cohesive. I like being silly and fun and that's what we do. I like the whole group effort because in this there's sort of something for everyone and we can all contribute to it in our own way. And all the crew is so talented, like Devin and Liz and it just and you it and Sam really works because so much. Yeah. individual talents can like come together and just create something awesome yeah. that we can be so proud of. Like Yeah. <laughs>